start and stop. Looks like it's seven o'clock. Yes, Good evening. My name is Walt Precook. I'm the acting chairman of the Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, I'd like to introduce our board members. I'll go ahead and start from my left. Sumit Shaw. Todd Turner. Christopher Bluer. Jim Hilly. Kim Keller. I'd like to go ahead and call our meeting to order. Uh, today is uh, September 15th of the Board of Zoning Appeals. Um, I'd like to go ahead and uh, have us all stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, the Board of Zoning Appeals is a quasi-legal board comprised of residents, volunteers of the city of Milton. The board is charged with hearing requests for a variance from, from the standards of the zoning ordinance and appeals of the administrative determination. With regards to the decisions on the primary variances, the board's basis for decisions is provided by these four considerations. A, relief if granted, would not offend the spirit or intent of the ordinance and there are such extraordinary and exceptional situations or conditions pertaining to the particular piece of property that the literal or strict application of the ordinance would create an unnecessary hardship due to the size shape or topography or other extraordinary and exceptional situations or conditions not caused by the variance applicant and relief, if granted, would not cause a substantial determinant to the public good and surrounding properties and that the public safety, health, and welfare are secure and that substantial justice is done. Since we have no sign variances, I'm going to forego mentioning anything about the sign variances. Um, first thing I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and ask everyone to look over what we have as far as our agenda. I'd like to seek a motion for setting the agenda as outlined on the uh, agenda set before us by uh, I'll make a motion to staff. Uh, adopt the September 15th, 2015 agenda as is. I'll second. Okay, hearing a first and second. Call for a vote. Okay, have it. Terry, if you'll call for the in those in favor and those against, just to make it clear. Okay, it looks like we have a unanimous vote for approval. I think you have to vote. You have to ask for all those in favor. Of all those in favor for the uh, adoption of the agenda. I see a unanimous approval of the adoption of the agenda. Okay. Next, I guess we'd like to seek a motion for approval of the prior minutes meetings as published by the city of Milton. I'll make a motion to approve the August meeting minutes, which actually we, we didn't actually have an August meeting, so there'd be a July. July. Right. I think we have a motion in August. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't have have August. I'll make a motion to approve the July meeting minutes. Second. Okay. Go ahead and call for a vote for approval of the minutes for the July me minute meetings. Abstain. All those in favor? Abstain, I wasn't there. Okay, so we show a vote of uh, five, four, and one abstention. Okay. Five, four, five, four, four approval. the adoption. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who would like to speak at our meeting, please fill out one of the yellow uh, cards 
and please uh, give it to the staff member in front. And uh, just make reference to the case number on your applicant, uh, which, which one you would like to speak on. I do want to make everyone's attention. We are, uh, looks like there will only be one case actually being heard. All right. Um, let's go ahead and talk about V15-025. Go ahead, Angela. Mr. Chair, uh, staff would like to request that this case be withdrawn. Uh, we did some research in the ordinance and uh, we were able to determine that the proposed fence was fine and met current ordinance, so no variance is required. Okay. We can vote to approve the withdrawal. All right, I guess we'll go ahead and vote to approve that it's been withdrawn. Those in favor of? Well, we need a motion. Do we have to make a motion for a withdrawal? Uh, we do that one if it's been put on an agenda. Okay. So just formally. And would like to make a motion for uh, for it to be withdrawn? I have a motion to withdraw B15 025 from the September 15, 2015 agenda. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? Okay, looks like we have a unanimous approval to withdraw V15-025. Okay, let's hear the next case, Angela, V15-026. Mr. Chair, staff would like to request that this case be deferred until the October uh, meeting. The applicant was not present at the September DRB meeting and so the DRB could not review it need to bring him back in October. Would anybody like to make a motion to allow this case to be deferred? Mr. Right. Chair, Go I'll make a motion to defer V15-026 to the next scheduled meeting. I'll second. Okay. All right. We've got a, uh, all right. Let's go ahead and vote on that. Um, we've got a, anyone who would like to vote in favor for a deferral for V15-026, please do so. All those in favor of, raise your right hand. Those against, okay, looks again like we have a unanimous, uh, looks like 6-0 to defer. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next case, V15-027. Angela. Yes, sir. Uh, v15027, the site 14625 Birmingham Highway is a single family home located on approximately 1.25 acres. It is zoned AG1 and is in the rural Knowlton overlay. In approximately June of 2015, the applicant, Kevin Carroll, built an opaque fence along Birmingham Highway, along the Birmingham Highway frontage of his home. This fence replaced an existing black four board horse fence. The fence varies in height depending on the topography from 42 inches to 70 inches, averaging 42 inches. It is painted brown with black trim. A permit was not obtained for the new fence. Section 64416J states that allowed fencing material shall be three or four board wooden fencing with wood posts. For section two, fences shall not exceed 55 inches from finished grade. Section four states that opaque fences are prohibited. Because the fence in question is an opaque panel fence that exceeds 55 inches in places, a two-part variance is required. On July 7, 2015, the DRB offered the following comments. It's a good-looking fence and we cannot dictate taste. Unfortunately, we have to draw a line in the sand to follow the, what the ordinance is. Obtain written support from neighbors. Additional department comments. Site plan review, Arborist and DOT Stormwater has, have no comments. Um, and actually I need to amend the comment from the architect. Uh, he stated that the fence violates the rural Milton overlay. It does not, but it does violate the aging one fence requirements. Uh, and he's 
that also said the ordinance shall be upheld. The standards for consideration were stated earlier and the applicant responds as follows. We feel that our nine-year-old daughter's safety and privacy are an issue as she and the dogs like to play in the front yard. Also, we can't plant anything big enough to screen our yard on the other side of our fence in the area of the easement for the next door property. <clears throat> our only option was to go to a semi-opaque fence design. The height is just high enough to block the view from passing cars, not overly tall. We feel that if we paint the fence all black and maybe install more evergreen shrubs, that would screen the fence some without blocking the line of sight and that we would be within the spirit of the ordinance. It would not take away from the sur surrounding properties and would not be a public safety or health issue. The staff responds. The applicant replaced an existing horse style fence with an opaque panel fence. Unfortunately, a permit was not obtained. The intent of the ordinance is to preserve and ensure the harmony and compatibility of the character of the area, including its physical appearance, natural setting, and, inform and informal landscaping, especially along the rural view sheds. This new fence does not support this intent. There are no extraordinary conditions of the property that would prohibit compliance with the ordinance. Wire attached to the fence and proper vegetation could assist with screening and security of the front yard. There is already extensive vegetation in the front yard. Relief, if granted, would not cause substantial detriment to the public good, nor would public safety and welfare be harmed. Should the board choose to approve the application, staff recommends the following conditions. Staff has no conditions at this time. Staff recommendation is for denial of this request. This concludes the staff presentation. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any questions for the staff? To the staff. Mr. Chair? Yes, sir. Uh, just so that we're clear, the fence area in question for this variance is only the fence area that borders the public road, the exterior street? Correct. Angela, how high is the? It's from. I know it's a pole of 55 inches, but it doesn't say. 42 inches to 70 inches, depending on. Uh, where, where you are in right. the fence line? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Any other questions to staff? Yeah, no. Angela, are, are there any uh, overlay district issues in addition to AG1 issues that are affecting this uh, issue with this opaque fence. I mean, it's in the rural Milton overlay and basically the, the requirements of rural Milton are the same as AG1. Um, any fence along the exterior road is supposed to be a horse fence. Are there any sight distance issues that are involved with this fence? Not that I'm aware of. So no issues from the staff involving transportation? Thank you. Okay, at this time I'd like to open up the floor to the applicant to make their presentation. Um, at this time, if Mr. Carroll or his representative would like to make this application. Um, I, I don't know what I can present. It sounds to me like this is gonna be denied anyway, so. Well, like I said in my letter, it situation where when the, we bought the property the builder had a four rail fence on there uh, a couple years later we adopted my daughter and it became a safety concern and then the fence started rotting and I needed to replace it I didn't realize there was a zoning ordinance if I'd have replaced it two and a half years ago it wouldn't have been a problem um, I also didn't get a permit I've been in construction 37 years I've worked in at least a half a dozen states. I've never had to pull a permit to replace rotted fence. So in my mind, there wasn't a need to come to the city and get a permit to, re to repair a rotted fence. So I won't move forward, put in the fence, then got notified I was out of compliance. Um, as I stated in the letter, there are certain conditions on our property that don't, don't allow me to screen the front of our property with evergreens because it shortens the line of sight going down Birmingham Highway. Um, I already have a problem looking north. I 
I got in a car accident because the cars come around the corner so fast, the line of sight so short, uh, and I got in a wreck. So I don't want to put any more big evergreens to block that side of the property. Uh, I've done that on the left side, but it, it doesn't help me on uh, the front left side. So do I put an opaque fence on one side and leave the horse fence on the other? That would have been more objectionable. So I opted to try to put in uh, a nicer looking opaque fence. I went down Birmingham Highway. There's one down by Doris Road that's eight foot high, it's solid black, it's got the big X's in it. There's one across from uh, Birmingham Falls. It's technically, it's their side yard, but it runs all the way up the, uh, their front yard on the side, the same design. Um, they put in Leland's to try to block it. So I assumed after looking around that the fence I put in was more of a architecturally pleasing design. I kept it as low as possible trying to make it uh, attractive and in setting with our architecture and the houses around here. Uh, now I find out that it's a four horse fence or nothing, or a four rail fence or nothing. So I, I'm asking for the variance so that I don't have to take $3,000 worth of fence down and spend the money to put a new four rail up. Sir, why don't you just stay there for just a second. We, we may have some questions for you. Does anyone have any questions for the applicant? Just just one, sir, if I, if I may. Um, you talked in your letter about it being a safety issue. It, and uh, are you worried about your, your, ch your daughter and your dogs wandering out into the street? No, I'm not so much worried about that as someone come on our property. Okay. I, I have the website that says where the um, I, I understand where the offenders are correct and I know there's enough things that have gone on around Milton and Alpharetta that I have a real concern about my daughter out somewhere where it, all it takes is a minute for somebody to come and do something sure and with the fence it's less obvious when she's outside as much of a deterrent as I can put in there. Right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Anyone else have any questions for the applicant? When you, when you say you have a concern uh, exiting and you say you have a sight disc problem, you've got into an accident, uh, explain to me that a little bit more. When the builder um, built the house, the Georgia DOT told him he couldn't put a driveway house on his property. They had to pull it down across our property and make one driveway so that there was a, enough line of sight for um, you to see the traffic coming south. Um, Chris installed Leland's trying to block his property and it's shortened the line of sight to the point where, and, and nobody does the speed limit coming down Birmingham Highway, so I have about two seconds to decide if I can go or not. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. So I had a lady, I looked down the road and I had a lady flying around the corner and we hit bumpers because I didn't have enough time to react. So if I put any more shrubbery on my property, it'll shorten it even farther. Everything I have is so that I can see over it. And I actually have to prune some of it because my wife's car sits lower and sometimes she can't see over what we have there right now. Um, the other way, put anything out in front too big, it does the same thing. You can see a little farther, but you almost got to put your nose out into the road to see south. So I was trying to keep everything at the fence or behind. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Anyone in opposition or like to speak in favor of this? Yes, sir. My name is Chris Yana, I'm the next door neighbor. To be honest with you, I got this thing in the mail. I didn't know what it was about. I, I don't know who complained about a fence or anything of the sort. But um, it says to be here, and I figure since I live next door, I need to find out just what is this about. And 
Now I'll just include in some listening to the conversation. Um, there is a, an easement, I'm looking at the easement, and it clearly says, we acknowledge myself and uh, the, um, the, the James here, the, the Carol's here next door. Uh, that's a uh, four board of horse fence uh, as part of the city ordinance. So, I mean, we all acknowledge that as part of the easement, and um, I haven't changed anything because, you know, I have the same riding problem that he has. To be honest, the fence that he put up, I like it because it's pretty. Um, and I, you know, I, I really don't have one complaint about it. I guess you guys went out doing your inspections and that's how you found it. Um, but uh, again, my only concern is that I, I don't want to, uh, you know, until I move, I don't really want to mess with this easement. I like it to stay as is. And it has some specifics, some, some very specified things about um, the easement area and what you can and can't put in it, what, how, you, how far. Well, far, uh, for instance, it says, uh, all parties acknowledge and agree that the fence guidelines for said property are as follows. Uh, it's got three guidelines, I'll read them real quickly. Four board horse fence, the same as currently exists in front of lots one and two. Um, he's on lot one, I'm on lot two. Uh, the second um, part here says six foot or less privacy fence must be painted or stained located no closer to the road than the rear corners of the house to the site and rear property lines only. And then the third one says wrought iron or black uh, aluminum fencing. So um, I understand, I can see now, just listening to the conversation and getting the context of this, that uh, you know, he needs a variance because you know, he didn't get a permit. And, but it looks good. So um, I'm not in favor or against this thing. You know, if you guys want to let it remain, it's fine with me. I would like to keep the integrity of this easement as is. And so you guys find a legal loophole to do that if possible. That's all I have. Thank you. Someone may have a question for you just a minute. Does anyone have a question for the adjoining owner? This easement you're making reference to, is this a private easement between you and the adjoining owner? I'm not sure that's necessarily an easement the city may have access to. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's recorded in uh, Fulton County mm -hmm. uh, Superior Court, so, um, yeah, it, it still may be a, a, a separate easement agreement. Yeah, that's an amendment to the um, original thing. The back pages show you the signatures and so on. So, I mean, I, I know it's a, sure. you know, a court document that's been approved. Well, but it's I a recorded know. document. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a court document from the standpoint that it's probably enforceable, but uh, we'll let the attorney. Just, uh, just real quick, it appears to be between two property owners. I will say this board, what its action will not impact the private rights of the, of the individuals that they may or may not have in that agreement. This is as to the city's enforcement of its own codes and ordinances you can't no different than an HOA document exactly I, I have a question Are, is, the, is this existing fence on the easement on your easement it actually it, it actually reads as an encroachment agreement yes and it sounds it's actually it sounds like you know the, the, it has to do with maybe the, I didn't go through the details of it but um, I think like the, the driveway the impact so the answer is partial so there was an existing fence that was a horse fence on the easement. Yes. That that has been replaced by a different fence. Uh, yes, sir. My, okay. That's, that's what I didn't. I didn't know. I only saw pictures of it being in the front yard, so I didn't. I didn't. I don't really know where the easement is. Um, so, how much of the fence is on the easement? Maybe a third or less. A third of the fence. And, and it looks like you may have planted um, Leland's in that area in front of your home. Yes. Um, do you have any children? Uh, no. I mean, I have, um, you know, it, it's more for, uh, you know, I came here and checked with the, the zone board and they said I could plant on the inside and not on the outside. And so I did that. And, um, and it's more for cutting down on noise. I mean, you know, it, I can hear cars driving through my bedroom, sort of, the noise. <laughs> <laughs> we understand. Um, so I had to fix that. Okay. Okay. All right. 
thank you very much. Anybody else have any questions? No? Okay. All right. Well, the applicant now has a chance to rebut any comments from either the staff or, or the board or, for that matter, the adjoining property owner. If you'd like to make any closing statements or make any further points to help your case. No? Okay. All right. Well, then I'm going to go ahead and close the hearing and uh, direct it back to the board and go ahead and make our decision. Um, would anybody like to make a motion? I actually have a question. Can I ask a question sure, today? absolutely. What's, what's the logic behind the opaque fence um, designations? Why are the opaque fences not allowed? Um, Well, we're trying to keep a consistent look in the rule view shed. Um, and one of the symbols of, you know, Milton is the horse board fence. And at, at the extreme, um, of we don't want the typical suburb look of a walled off subdivision or lot or whatever. So we're trying to avoid, the, you know, six foot tall wooden walls or brick walls or anything like that. But you would allow um, the four board fence, then it would allow having a welded wire fabric on the inside. Yes, that's all. And, and the four board could go as high as how high would the four the board? Front, 55 inches. 55 inches. Mm -hmm. And the welded wire would be able to go how high as well? 55 inches. So a typical child, you know, would be pretty tall. And you could also landscape on either side of that fence, could you not? Uh, you're not supposed to put any uh, landscaping in the right-of-way. The fence is supposed to be set three, fe three feet back from the right-of-way, so you have a little room. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have well, a little uh, room. On that point, can I ask a follow-up? Yeah, sure. Is where the current fence is located, is that acceptable based on the ordinance? Um, I haven't been out there to measure it. Um, you know, we don't necessarily have a problem with the location. But it does need to be three foot off the right of way. It's supposed to be three feet back from the left right of way. Yeah, because I'm right seeing a lot of shrubbery plantings on the front side of it, and that's. Well, I mean, people don't always know exactly where the right of way ends, and so things get planted over time. It looks loose and so far. Okay, and and things do grow. In other words, you may plant right. something. And ten you know. years later, it's. And I know there is a curve there as well, so. And, uh, and again, I just want to make sure, Mr. Carroll has owned this property from day one. In other words, this property was built, he was the original owner. I'm not from sure what, what I looked at. I think that's what he said. Because I looked at the tax records and that's what it looked like. Any other questions to staff or? Okay. Who wants to be Mr. Popular? I, I have another question. Mm -hmm. um, so are we to assume every fence in Milton will be a horse fence? And if it's not, do, do you guys go and you know, say that they're, they're, they're in violation of the ordinances? If there's an existing opaque fence um, in place now, we're not, they can do maintenance on it and it can remain but any new fence or, you know, if you take the whole thing down and you, you're gonna replace the fence is along the road, is it required to be three or four board uh, horse fence? So in other words, there are some fences that predate the city of Milton. Correct. Correct. So, so those fences. As long as they're just doing maintenance, they will be allowed to uh, remain. And is that in the backyard too, or just the front yard? The sides and the backyard, you can pretty much do whatever you want except chain link. Okay. In abundance of clarity, the um, Milton overlay, the rural uh, overlay, I should say. Has, uh, has this requirement in it as well. 
I, I guess on top of what the normal standard is. Um, they're they're pretty they're pretty similar, both AG one and the rural Milton overlay. Okay, right, I'll make a motion to uh, deny petition V fifteen dash zero two seven to allow a non three or four board type opaque fence along an exterior street to allow a fence along an exterior street to exceed 55 inches. Okay. I'll for second for conversation. I'm sorry, Jim, yeah. do you want to? No, it's just. All right, we've heard a motion and a second. So just can we still discuss? Well, let's, let's, let's discuss. discuss. That's, that's the reason I second it so we can discuss. discuss. That's exactly yeah. 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 yeah, so this is, this is not a pure, in my mind, necessarily a pure opaque fence because it's got slats see-through so it's not like some boarded complete solid wall fence I mean, it is a little bit of an exception so uh, you know in my mind um, it's not, it doesn't meet the absolute letter of the law but it could be it could be completely in violation you know, but I think it's an attractive looking fence um, I think the, some of the issues the height is, is part of it obviously the, the, the lack of permit and I get that are Fence permit is unique in that particular regard. I, I, I understand that, um, and, and I understand his concerns about the safety of his family. I, I get that. I respect that. But it's one of those things that I almost wish there were extraordinary circumstances because then this would be easy. And I just can't find them. Mr. Chair. Yes. Yeah, we have, and, and I'm not being a purist here, but we have four conditions that this applicant must meet in order for us to vote in favor. Spirit and intent, and I think Angela has sufficiently demonstrated the spirit and intent of the four board fence and the openness and the rural character. Exceptional and extraordinary conditions, which we can't find here, as Chris was just um, noting. Um, the applicant went and did this on his own without seeking permits or he could have avoided a lot of this issue. Um, even if he would have followed his, his own encroachment um, agreement with his neighbor detriment to the surrounding properties you know I'm hearing from the neighbor that he has concerns over the you know the agreement that they have and this not being uh, consistent with that agreement um, is the third condition and, and public safety uh, I'm not a public safety expert but this is along a, a busy area and it is a pretty fence is that something to draw your attention because it stands out? It's different than something else that's there, I, you know. But point is, he needs to meet all four of these, and I think we're having a difficulty showing that he has sufficient enough to allow this exception. I, I'm not. It, it, I agree with you in a large part. Public safety and another stretch of road site is an issue. I mean, I I live on a busy road as well. I don't live in a subdivision and. Similarly, pulling out of my driveway is a challenge every single day. Um, if I were to put up a fence, would that change it? No, not if I stuck to three feet behind the driveway. I, so I don't think public safety in this area is as much of an issue. But the other three are. I, I, I struggle with it. I mean, I, it clearly, it's, this board is, struggles with the notion of having someone tear down something that, mm -hmm. you know. Right, but, I think that's what we're all. Um, so when you say you Wait. struggle, what are you struggling with? I'm, I, want to res I want to respect what an individual has the right to do with their property. Mm -hmm. I, uh, that each one of us can do what we deem to be appropriate. With, to, to an extent. To an extent, obviously to an extent, with the property. And I think a fence, to some degree, is within that realm of, of uh, reasonableness. So when an individual spends X amount of dollars, regardless of what that X amount of dollars is, I struggle with the fact is, all right, here I am, government coming and saying, yeah, take it down. I don't like it. That's what I struggle with. But to my friend's uh, comments in terms of those, the four areas, that's right. That's what we have to vote on. Well, are you saying that there, is there some other means in which that fence could be obscured such that you wouldn't be able to tell if it was a horse fence or an opaque fence, or any other kind of fence. Based on the, the photos, the, uh, Angela's feedback about where that resides, 
we would then, in my opinion, have a public safety issue if, if the applicant put in Leland's, which are gonna to grow to be 30 or 40 feet high, that's gonna affect traffic. What, so what about if, if you put a hedge in? But what if you had ivy climbing it? <laughs> so that it would be completely covered no, with I, ivy. I, I understand I'm just, I'm no. brainstorming. I'm trying to, I understand your I'm point. trying I to come up saying. with some kind of solution that, that would you, would you notice a difference if it, if it was, if you said, okay, we'll give but, you but X amount of time to. Then we're ignoring the fact of what we're supposed to rule on. I understand. I understand. Well, we're, we're, I'm, we're, I'm trying to do like I, you're saying. I understand. No, I'm not arguing with you. I know. I mean, I, do we have a precedence of, of doing this on the board? That no, I'm not, no, I'm not no, aware of no. Anything that we do is No, we have, we, have, uh, <laughs> we have ruled in the past against an opaque fence. That was we, already existing. No. No, um, it was somebody who requested one, and it was on really the side of the house, and it was on a, a moderate street. And then there was another case um, where somebody wanted an opaque fence, and they had it up, and we made them take it down. Oh, really? And it was on, uh, where's that fire station by the Kroger's? Uh, um, it's in the curve um, where they just redid Arnold it. Mill? Oh, uh, Arnold, Arnold Mill. Mill. Arnold yeah. Mill where they had one up and we made them take it down. And it was, uh, was uh, now it was nowhere near as pretty as yours, sir, by, by any means, but. Uh, so for safety of his family, I can understand why he doesn't feel a horse fence really provides any kind of safety, you know, right. for a dog or a child. What what are you supposed to do to your, your horse fence to make it safe? You're supposed to put wire mesh on it? Well, no, to, if you didn't, if you wanted to control your your dogs, or or you it's wanted to, in. yeah, you wanted to put a wire on the inside. You put wire on the inside. So and what does that look like? It, 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 you, can you can't it, see it. Oh, like that deer it. stuff. The yeah, it's, 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 it's thick yeah. wire. I don't know technically what it's called. It's actually called hog wire, or yeah. uh, it's not chicken wire. It's I I have it. You can't really tell off, us there. You like can't see it. It's four by four. I can be standing next to it and I can't see it. And there's oh, some okay. that are actually like this. It's it's uh, one by three. Okay. And they actually use it in pools even, where it's even sm smaller. But uh, okay. But uh, again, it's to help deter your animals from getting out or right. children for that matter. So yeah. I guess the hard thing for me is. There's no malice here. Yeah. Right. There's not. Yeah. And, uh, and I can respect that. No, like you said, it's a beautiful fence. And, and perhaps you could use it and pick it up and move it to the back. <laughs> because it could be picked up and moved. Um, if that's something. Excuse me? <laughs> yes, sir. That's a self-imposed one. That's right. but yeah, it, it's not just three thousand to. It's going to end up. I yeah, don't know what it's going to be. Six thousand. Mm -hmm. It's three thousand in. Right. Another three thousand to put up a horse board. Well, technically, a financial was not considered a hardship, and right. in the case it's sure. yeah, yeah, specifically yeah. called out. Right, right, right. Now, um, it can I mean, be reused. Yeah, but a sure. happy medium trying to figure out some way to. I think that's what we're all. I think we're all saying with, the same thing. Right. I mean, like, there's, like, there's 20 other little things. I mean, you could take lichen, you take sour milk, and you spray it on your thing. Yeah. You mix it with moss, and you, you spray it and get it to grow. And but I mean, there's 20 different things. But I, I, I'm just telling you, I don't think there's a, a great solution. You know, even if you grew ivy, um, it, it's a three-year process. It's uh, sleep, creep, leap. That's that's ivy, three years. So uh, that's the uh, that's the acronym for ivy. Sleep creeps leap. So. Uh, I'll make it in January. I'll just let us just, just let. Yeah. let <laughs> well, I mean we're.
hesitation if he wants to basically withdraw, withdraw his motion. Could he do so before us voting? It's very magnanimous of you. That's the better one. Magnanimous. Mm -hmm. what about Most cleanly, I would uh, not do it in the middle of a pending motion if the motion were to be defeated or withdrawn and um, the matter could be postponed. That's what I was going to yeah, could, could, could we withdraw? I, and, and I guess you, you could, ex you could yeah. Yeah. reopen the meeting. You, well, no, no, you would, you would need to reopen the meeting um, rather than making someone come back. I think you could um, have a motion to accept the proposed withdrawal as opposed to what, what are we, we better are we better vote on this though well, well but either, either there is a pending motion that would take precedence over that we have right. to remove that we have right. to, yeah could it is the what is the is in the applicant's best interest to withdraw the motion or to have us defer this and then I don't know whether it's a staff review or something that happens later. What gives him greater, for lack of a better term, legal flexibility if he needs to come back in front of us for some sort of a variance regarding well, this fence so that he gets up to, he puts a foreboard up and just, if it goes up to 70 inches as an example. I think the only, it would, any implication would, yes, but, but only implication of it would be as to this particular variance, which would be as to the, the, um, Opaqueness. Okay. Uh, I don't have um, a, a different ordinance issue would not be prohibited. Or oh, he's got six months. He can come back before you in six months for something even, else. Well, it would be the same for anything. But could, just for argument's sake, and I know that the process doesn't move this fast, but if he withdrew his uh, case this evening, he could come back next month. Okay. That's what I'm, just in case, if he, again, he had to go up to 70 inches, which is higher than the, he could ask for that variance. Okay. First of all, are you going to remove your second? I would, I would remove my second. And would you remove if, your? If it's the pleasure of this board, yes, I don't, I'll withdraw my motion. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open back our. Uh, no, we're just gonna take, you're just gonna take a new motion. And I will, what I will state is I understand from the applicant that he is requesting that his application be withdrawn. It's up to the board's pleasure to consider whether they wish to accept that. Would the uh, board like to accept the applicant's... Uh, we have to get a motion to accept. Why don't you make a motion to offer? Um, offer to withdraw his application. Are you making a motion to do that? No, I'm, I'm asking the board. Well, that's what we'll do, and then we'll yeah. go. Well, someone's got to uh, I'll so, make go ahead. I'll, I'll make that a that motion to accept the uh, applicants uh, for V15027, his motion, Mr. Carroll's motion, to withdraw his application for a variance. And I'll second. Okay. We've heard a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor, raise your right hand. All those opposed? We'll have the motion carries, uh, six to zero. Good luck, so, sir. Motion carries. Mr. Carroll, we're, we're lucky to have you in the city of Milton. You're yes, thank you so much. Person. Thank you very much. Yep, thank you so much. Yeah, we no. try to treat people fairly. We try. Thank you, sir. Yep, thank have a good evening. Next on the agenda. <laughs> Consideration of appeals. I don't believe there are any. You have one? I have none. None. Okay. Old business. Are there is there any old business? Yes. No. Has anyone heard whether anyone's being appointed for this vacancy? I believe that's maybe some old business. No? <laughs> no, that's new, no. New old. <laughs> it's new old. Okay. Kim was old. 
The Kim Hill news. No, no, no. It took like two months. It took us nine months. Way to go. That was quick. No, no, for the mayor's mayor's vacancy. Well, no, no, I know, but we only waited nine months to have Kim show up. That's what we mean. That's what we mean. But in all day, I'm like, you know. No, please stay. We would like you to stay. All right, new business, I guess, election of officers. So I guess we've got to make a... Before you go, Mr. Chairman, just one quick thing. Sure. Uh, we obviously have continued our elections based on vacancies until until this particular meeting, which I agree we should have. But I think I asked the counselor to review our bylaws before everybody else is here, because we were both just chatting. Sure. Um, and the bylaws indicate that we are supposed to have elections the first meeting of the next calendar year, et cetera. So whatever we do today, Right. We're going to have elections yeah. again in January. Well, yeah, and, and partial part of that is because we have an election cycle. We actually do not have an election well, cycle. We well, do, in but theory, we don't. <laughs> they're not they're running unopposed. They're running unopposed. But that doesn't mean we're automatically reappointed. That that is true. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why that rule right. is in there. Right. And may I strongly urge that at l we. I mean, we only have one officer at the moment, uh, and, we could have been. <laughs> and no, we, we, need, we want to make sure we get a second officer yeah. uh, this evening. Yeah. You could, you, know, you can do it either way as to appoint just, well, right. do it right. as we, you see fit. So we currently have a vice chair. Correct. Right. Who will step up in the absence of a chair, right. but right. not automatically become that without an election. Right. Which position? Chair. Chair? Well, I, I, I'd say I don't mind it. Uh, I guess the only reason I'd say I'm, I'd be a little bit interested, I, I, I think from the only standpoint I know I'm, I'm here quite often. I mean, I'm probably one of the few people that don't miss very many meetings. I'm, I think I probably in my career, eight plus years, I've maybe, maybe have missed two meetings, maybe three at the most. And, uh, I don't travel very often, so I do know that uh, that's one of the good things that happened with Doc, where Doc was very sure. consistent in, right. in being here. But uh, you know, as far as I, whether I'm the best, I'll just say I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. So yeah, yeah less I, I've been vice chair and stood in as, as Walt has as a chair, and it's it's a pressure cooker. As I think maybe Walt experienced a little bit of blood pressure today, <laughs> 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 having to deal with a unique case. I don't. I wouldn't mind being considered uh, purely to run an efficient meeting because I think that is paramount to that right. position, and that's what I do for a living. So I facilitate. I, if I have similar touch stones, I mean, I'd, I'd be interested. Um, but it's it's ultimately what's going to serve us best as a as a board. Um, hey, Council, what are the rules about elections? Given what I've heard, I would like to have a motion for an individual. Um, I, I've heard, I mean, per preferably, I would like to have a motion for an individual to be named as chair, and then we'll have uh, a second vote. That's not a requirement. We could do like a ballot if we wanted to. The Secret only ballot. official way to um, accomplish anything as a board is to have a motion and a vote. Yeah, motion, motion to have a ballot. You have to take oh. a ballot now. Yeah. <laughs> Open public. They told, this is, you know, <laughs> you we're, 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 we're <laughs> on TV. All right, so, so I understand clearly. We have three candidates running for chairman sure. of this board. Is that correct? Well, we don't have any right now until we take a motion. Right. But so in, in, well, based um, on what all three of us have said, Okay. The answer is all three would be okay. So we do that. not have a chairman because the previous gentleman Correct. Has, right. has resigned. I'm Very sorry if I. Yeah. No, 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 no. So, you're right. you're so right. we have three people who are interested in the position, and then obviously the, uh, not one of the three people would also then be the vice, vice chair, correct? Uh, no, no, obviously, well, there's, a, there's a logic there. <laughs> Supposition. <Usually>. Okay. <laughs> and, and the expediency of this evening's uh, voting. Um, okay, so we need a motion for um, 
all three of you gentlemen to could be could yeah. be one or three. I'm judging that. Well, let, let me ask so this. Each, each I'm new to this. I'm not really. No, you know, no, I know no, Robert's no. rules of order, no, but no. the whole I'm, I'm, motioning. No, this is not. This is not. Per, uh, uh, that's it, why I'm making. I'm making the statement. I think that's what the council were saying that each of us really requires some. Uh, Someone to sponsor us to yes, some degree. Like okay. like no, I, I, is that not what you were saying? All, all that I'm seeking is that the process be someone. I, I move that Mr. or Miss X be named as chairman. There be a second for that motion. It would be hard for me since I don't know really any of you. <laughs> let, 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 well, no, 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 and, that, and that's and that's fair. And and let me. Let me just kind of. So I feel even awkward voting because no, I don't but even. Each one of us have a say in terms of who the best person is. I mean. Yeah. And, Everybody and, gets to vote. Huh? Everybody gets, Everybody to, gets vote. to vote. You're here you for. You get to vote for yourself. Yeah. You're here for you're here for a reason because you weren't shy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need shy people up on this uh, dais. So let me let I will, let me make a motion that uh, Todd Karen uh, Ford to become chairman. Walt, you're, there, Walt, any, Walt, you're still running yeah, the meeting. Still running the meeting. Okay. I said still Walt running is still so running I, the meeting. I hear a first and a second. Okay. Anybody else? Is there anyone else who's... Well, actually, um, we'll have a single motion for a single individual needs to be um, approved or denied on that motion. If, if it's denied, a new motion yeah, can be right. made for another well, we person. We vote on... You vote on the... There's a first and a second. Yeah, yeah discuss. discussion. Otherwise, right. vote vote on whether that particular motion. All right, so we're going to vote whether he is to be considered? He's that? to be no, named. Do you this, this, this would be chair. whether Can or I, not Todd will be named chair. A, but what discussion? about having another person? That's what I, I don't understand. If it, it needs, okay. it, it's not a, this is it's, not, it's like not a quite the same. Like where there's an election, uh, so I assume, appointing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I was on the homeowners board and people threw in their hats and okay. everybody ran Excellent against matter. each other, but not in, in this right. situation. We're like that's what he, that's, and that's right. the I make my motion just to serve. Okay. Right. So, so well, it'll, so it'll go one person at a time. If one person is nominated, if one person is approved, then that ends the consideration. Okay. All right. Right. So out of the six, uh, six, seven. Well, six, there are six, there are six. Six. That's right. So you, okay. So it just has to have. Four votes. All right. And that's carried. Okay. All right. So we've got a first and a second for Mr. Chernick. Okay. All those in favor of Mr. Chernick, raise your right hand. Okay. All those opposed? All right. Looks like Mr. Chernick won. There's no, I'm coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to have an efficient meeting. Okay. That's fine. All right. So then we need a vice chairman. And let me say, I will say, we have officially uh, elected a new chairman. Therefore, the meeting is oh, turned over to. transfers. Yeah. <laughs> Mid can I have my cheat <laughs> sheet? <laughs> sure. sure. Well, can I ask a question then? Do we is Walt still considered the vice chair? Uh, yes, in fact. That, well, we haven't elected this year. But we have. That's true. This this is the election this for the year. The yes, this is the election for the year. So we have an opening. Why did I lose my spot? Just out of curiosity. Because, because there has to be an election every year, and we have an election we, this year. We haven't done one yet this year. It's been postponed. We kept waiting for. But, but, we'll, but we can do one right now. <laughs> but we did we back in January to get Doc elected to begin with. We do. That we was not. that was the issue. We, we yeah. it has okay. not, it's just carried over from the previous year. Oh, okay. okay. So we need. We need so in the spirit of uh, an efficient meeting, I'd like to open the floor for a motion for a vice chair. I make a motion that we'll be vice chair. I have a second. I'll second the motion. I have a motion and a second for Walt as vice chair. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, uh, all those in favor for Walt for vice chair, please raise your right hand. Against? All right. Motion does not carry. 
So I uh, open the floor again for a motion for vice chair. I'll make a motion for Chris Bloor to be vice chair. And I'll make a second for Chris Bloor. So we have a motion and a second for Chris Bloor for vice chair. Any discussion? Hearing none, let's uh, please raise your right hand if you're in favor of Chris Bloor for vice chair. Against? A motion carries five to one. Chris Bloor is vice chair. Any other new business? I have none. Do we have an, an agenda for or uh, hearings for next month? I have one, one text, I believe. And we have a deferred. Plus the deferred. And the, the, one new case and the deferred. New business. Yes, yes New person question. Um, I was a little confused with the um, the attendance of this meeting tonight. Um, standard operating procedure is you're coming unless you say you're not. Okay. Well, going forward, you'll probably get a. Because I I, I, I emailed Angela said I'm coming tonight because uh, last month right. there was a bunch of back and forth and. And we ultimately deferred. Right. So I was form. I was kind of like. That was unique. Last month. You know, like I don't know what's going on here. So I should assume. We all should assume we're all coming unless somebody right. says that. Yes, yeah, so if you're not coming, please make sure that myself and Angela know that so we can be prepared. And is there a certain amount of time you'd like in advance? Like you want it one day's notice? Yeah, usually or? a day's notice is fine. Okay. But ultimately, it's just to ensure that we have a quorum. I understand that. I mean, usually I can be here, but I just wanted to know what standard operating procedure was. And we ran into some serious issues when your chair was not filled because we only had or members at times, and that was right. just enough. That was just, a, that was just enough to do. And who's Paul Fricky? <laughs> <laughs> You're Paul Fricky. Yes. <laughs> That's Mr. Paul Fricky right down there. All right. <laughs> well, who Present. is? Well. Who's the other person? Oh, so Jason Wright is not here. Jason does communications. He, he does communications for the city. Okay, I must have gotten you all confused. I apologize. You can call Paul Jason. <laughs> And Will you answer either one? He's been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> now I know who you are. <laughs> yep. You know, actually, Kim raises a, a fair point. Did you get any introduction into what your responsibilities were? And uh, the or did you get an ordinance book or anything? I got. I've received nothing. Okay. And um, you should now, get back to lunch. Go ahead. Um, we talked the night I was elected, and he kind of filled me in briefly about you know. But no, I'm really pretty much in the dark, so. Okay. Just um, sitting here in the, the corner <laughs> trying it, to follow oh, oh, along. It, I it, did go look to find the ordinances online, and I did kind of briefly peruse the lengthy document that it is. Um, yeah, it's like in print, it's yeah, like this. Exactly. So I, I was able to find that online, and um, usually you do a really good job, though, stating what is relevant to the cases coming up. Um, so, so far, you know, but I, I didn't. Well, I didn't. we have another new member coming on board hopefully soon in, in this onboarding. We haven't had to deal with this so much in the last eight years. Oh, okay. okay. Um, right. But I think we've had but one here and there. I got Angela to print me out that whole book. Um, don't, don't, don't print me out that book. <laughs> I don't, I, no, I don't want it. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> I'll it look fits it perfectly on that device yeah, that you have right exactly. there. Yeah, exactly. I, I do think, though, having the, our bylaws would be something yeah, important. Yeah, something, some sort of something, you know. Do um, you have a recent copy of our bylaws? I have a dated copy. I think we've changed them lately. Yeah, can you we did. We changed them about a year ago. No, about two or three. Was it that long ago that we changed them? Mm -hmm. uh, are those online, too? No, I'll email them. Those okay. It's not that long. It's right here. And so maybe, maybe right. you just do a welcome letter, you sure. know, like, if, I mean, maybe you don't need it. Maybe we'll get the other person while I'll be on here another eight years. But, uh, you know. Well, we're coming up on that time of year where we can maybe perhaps gather and get people assimilated a little bit better. Um, so the boards are going to expand beyond six? But not to discuss ordinances? No, we'll have another, hopefully. No. Gary Strong, we could do that here. But if we, do, if we do it here and announce it, that's fine, right? If, as long as we announce it publicly that we're gathering to do. I know we can't discuss. But do we have to announce it publicly? 
<laughs> we're going into executive session. You have session. to get your daughter from, from uh, Ben. Uh, if there's no more new business, I'll, um, I'll make a motion to adjourn. And I will second that motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Passed unanimously.